So here is a video uh, outlining how to convert uh, inches squared cent to centimeters, like square units. So I've had a lot of questions on this um, and I would like to go over this again just to make sure everybody understands how to do this. So because we are converting square units, we have to make sure that we're looking at the conversion factor. So from inches to centimeters, our conversion factor and you can look at your data sheets for that from inches to for centimeters to inches is 2.54 let's see let me write it directly 2.54 inches to centimeters so my conversion factor is 2.54 so my conversion factor for square units is going to be 2.54 squared so when i'm converting this when i'm converting inches to centimeters i'm going to be multiplying by 2.54 squared to get that answer there. So what I can do is I can go 2.54, I can square it, and then multiply it by my 50, oops, 50, and I get 322.58. So 322.58, now I have centimeters squared. I think a lot of people are multiplying it just by 2.54, but you can't do that. And I think I've showed it in another video why you can't do that. Um, because essentially you have a length and a width and these lengths and these widths would both be in inches and when you're finding area you're multiplying the length times the width so you're having inches times inches so if you were to convert this inches to, to two by two uh, multiplying it by 2.54 to get to centimeters multiplying that inches to get by 2.54 to get to centimeters then you'd be multiplying by 2.54 twice uh, same thing happens for volume but you have to multiply by three times instead and we'll get to that uh, in another video so always look at your conversion factor, which is your what you're multiplying it by or dividing it by, and then you have to worry about that. Okay, let's look at part B. So this time I'm going from feet to meters. Let's look at our conversion factor. What we're multiplying or dividing by from uh, feet to meters. And this one I can see right here, feet to meters is 0 0.3048. 0 .3048. 3048. So that means again I'm going to be multiplying by that. 0 0.3048. But we're going to do that again squared because we're looking at square units. Right? We're looking at square units. I know I have a three-dimensional object, but we found the surface area, which is the area of all the faces added up, not the volume. So again, I'm going to be multiplying. So I take my 40, or first of all, it's it's a good idea to square your conversion factor first. So I have 0 0.3048 squared, and then I multiply that by my 40 feet, and I get 3.72 meters squared. So find your conversion factor. Look to see what we're dealing with. We're dealing with square units. So that means I'm going to square my conversion factors. Okay, let's do two more examples here. Okay, the next one. I want the surface area in inches squared and the always, again, this is really important to always look to see what they're giving you. Well, they're giving you centimeters. They want it in inches squared. So you have a choice. You can either convert before or you can convert after. If you're going to convert before, then you don't have to worry about multiplying by the conversion factor twice because you're going to be dealing with that when you square the radius. So if I was to find this in centimeters first, I would just go 4 pi times 10 squared. So I'd work that all out. 4 times pi. Typically I would go 10 squared first, but I just know that's 100, so I could just deal with it there. So I have 1256.64. Sorry, 1256. So 1256.64. And that's in centimeters squared. And we already know from centimeters to, we know the conversion factor is 2.54. But this time I'm going from centimeters to inches. So this time I have to divide by 2.54. And again, I'm dealing with area, so I have to square it. So I take my answer of that and I divide by, and look, you can use brackets on your calculator too, they're very handy. So divided by 2.54 squared, end my brackets equals 194.78. OK, 
Okay. Let's see what would happen if I'm if I divided this first. So first of all, I'm going to divide ten. I take my ten centimeters. I divide that by two point five four. Two point five four. I get three point nine three seven. I'll leave it like that because I want to be as accurate as I can. Because I'm I'm, I'm kind of rounding, but I'm using it as a measure um, all the way through. Now let's find my surface area. My surface area is going to be four. Whoops. Four. Sorry about that. Four pi r squared. This time my this time my radius is in inches, so my answer is going to be in inches. So I have is equal to four times pi times my three point nine three seven squared and the brackets equals 194.78 so I get the same answer and that's an in inches squared so you can either convert after which might which some of you might like because then you just know oh square units divide by the square or convert before um, and just notice that if you're dividing or multiplying here's another thing that comes up a lot of the times if you have an object like this and you have two different kinds of measurements we have a radius and we have height but notice that they're both in different units. This happens uh, quite a bit in the course. You have to make sure they're in the same units. You have to check that first. So one's in inches, one's in centimeters. Um, the question might want both. It might say, let's find centimeters squared and inches squared. And in that case, then you can just kind of convert them uh, right after the, another, so it's a little easier. So let's go to centimeters first, and then we'll go to inches. So this one, to get inches to centimeters, I multiply by 2.54, so I have 5 times 2.54, 12.7, good, now everything is in centimeters. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even find the area of this because this is in inches and this is in centimeters, so I can't even go through and then convert because you're dealing with two different types of, of measurement, so you have to get them in the same measurement first, it's the first thing you have to do. Now I can finally go through and find out what my centimeters squared is going to be. So I have 2 pi times my radius, which is 12.7 squared, plus 2 pi times my radius, which is 12.7, times my height, which is 20. This is all in centimeters. So I have two parts to this. 2 times pi times, and I'm going to use my brackets again, 12.7. 7 squared and the brackets equals uh, 1013.41 plus I can figure out the other part um, 2 times pi times 12.7 times 20 is 15095.93 I add them both together. I can just leave that in my calculator. 1013.41. I end up getting 2609.34. And that is in centimeters squared. Now, say it wanted the answer in inches squared. Then I could go and I could um, divide this, right, because I'm getting from centimeters to inches, so I'm getting into a bigger form of measurement, so there's going to be fewer of them. Divide by 2.54, and remember, we should be able to see from all the other examples that I have to square it, because we're dealing with area, right? So I take my answer, I divide that by bracket, 2.54 squared, and that's going to be 404.45 inches squared. Okay, you, we could have easily gone up here and changed this to inches. So I could have gone um, 20 divided by 2.54 first. I could have gotten 7.87, I think. Yep, and that's in inches. Then I have these two measurements, 5 inches and 7.87 inches. Then I could have found that in inches. So be careful what they're asking for and make sure that you fill in the correct correct box. Sometimes it says, oh, well, what is this in inches or what is this in centimeters? So hopefully that helps with that and I'll do another video on uh, volume.